Welcome. The pressure of this competition is higher than ever. Make it to the end, and you will earn $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. And for this flash challenge, your success is dependent on each other. Coaches, you must once again work side by side with your teams. This week, we're testing composition. Composition is creating balance. It's creating flow and a focal point to draw your eye throughout the picture. Today, you must create an amazing design out of an unruly medium. Melted wax. It's crazy. <laughs> First, using tape, you will stencil a design onto a four foot by seven foot canvas. Then, you will strategically spread colored granulated wax on your canvas. Using butane torches and heat guns, you will melt the wax to create flowing fields of color. When the tape is removed, an impressive work of art will be revealed in the negative space. Negative space means that's the space you're not even touching, but it has to be part of the art piece, which means it has to flow, it has to balance, it has to show depth. It's just as important as the pieces you touch. Win this challenge and your team will have the power to assign all of the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. You have six hours and your time starts now. Let's go. Melting wax, finding a composition and a know-how of how to work with the wax is going to be tricky. What I have in mind is birch trees, and I'd like to incorporate three black wolves. When I think of candle wax, too, I always, you can always <laughs> carve into it. You can carve the trunk arc into it. I like the idea. It's going to sound like a lot, but we can do it because we're all working together. Being a difficult medium, if everybody's not on the same page, we could see a disaster. When you're thinking about a tattoo and you're thinking about putting it on a body, but with this, think of it more as fine art. DJ and Josh are amazing tattooers, but composition is taught in fine art schools, which I've been to. Like, what do you think in more fine art? It's maybe like a, a woman's face, like spitting out butterflies or something. Let's do that. We've shot ourselves in the foot for going too crazy. This is the one time I'm trying to tone us down. I can draw a girl's face well. If you can draw it, I will be a laborer on this one. All right, let's do it. I'm quarterbagging this game. You want this straight up? We'll yeah. turn it vertical and she wants to draw on here. This is finally a challenge where my teammates can actually rely on me. What do you want to do? I think do a nice iconic fold image. The flag would be perfect, dude. White stripes, the white stars, silhouette, skyline with a space of negative around it. But I mean, do you want to go that simple? It's safe and we can make it look clean. It's the is safe, bro. Can we beat the other teams, man? We're going for the win. I know. It's down at two, so if we lose a skull pick, it's a done deal. Steve, dude. Take your own advice, rein yourself in. You've been telling me that I gotta go simple this whole competition. Now I'm finally doing it and you're going crazy with ideas. Simple is smart on this one. Whatever the you guys gonna do. I think it'll be cool, you know what I mean? Whatever, like it. Let's go, let's do it. Pain in the ass, huh? Oh, 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 do you know where the line of the tree is? Really? So with having an extra player on our team, we decide to go with a more complicated design, but this medium is a pain in the ass to work with. Blending all those colors and everything is tricky. Sorry, Jay, I got some blue in here. Oh, no. And controlling how much heat gets to it and how far it spreads is an insane nightmare. No way that's coming off. <laughs> Dude, we should've done it when it was a little bit warmer. You have three hours to go. The tear ducts have to be even. That looks pretty damn close. Dude, that texture is so Dude. sick. <laughs> the thing that I've been learning is that DJ's a coach for a reason. What? <laughs> I know. To show great composition, you need more than one element. So we're going to scatter these butterflies throughout the piece to evenly compose it. I want to get like an oh from the judges. We're a man down from last week, but it's not holding us up. Josh is pretty much good at everything. Deanna's got some weak points, but she's worked her way out of them. I might have two advantages in this finale. Sorry, I was so ambitious, guys. Why is it 3,000 black buildings? Hold on, stop. I kind of thought we'd just black on the top and let it rest drip down. There's only seven people left. 
and only three make it to the finale. It's crucial to get these advantages. Yeah, once we drip it, it'll be way cooler. I'm not gonna just back down or lay down. And if you want me off, it's gonna be a fight. That's pretty dope, dude. I really had my doubts in the beginning. You're laughing at our piece. Well, I gotta be honest with you, I wasn't feeling it. Down, 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 down. Hey, we gotta hurry. We gotta hang this hey, up. Hey, Torch. Hurry, hurry. We did three wolves in the beginning and letting the wax dry. But now we're peeling off the tape. Chunks are just flying off. I mean, it's ruining our whole design. How much time? For like none. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Hey, ours looks by far the raddest. And theirs is just so boring. The shading and the flag kind of looks like clouds. I think it's cool, man. All right, time to critique your work. Team DJ, you're up. Your use of butterflies in the foreground was really a smart play because you have so much depth in the background that your negative space is a really neat effect. It would have been a lot stronger if you left the butterflies completely stark. Yeah, we debated that. The color blends and fades that you get here between the red and the brown, and having the different color fields all playing into each other really do cater to a painterly style. You guys do something that's definitely artistic. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Yo, I thought Team DJ had this in the bag until they added these butterflies and these weird boogers all over the face. You guys killed it today. Next up is Team Steve. It's a very simplistic take, but yet has a nice balance to it. Looking for composition in this piece, you have the silhouette of the cityscape at the bottom, and then the flag in the background with a lot of negative space, and you do get a lot of tones. You do get it to look like a runny painting. It's a very bold, strong move. You feel an immediate response, a knee jerk. It does spark emotion and does register a feeling with people. Thank you. Thank you. I am super proud of my team, and especially Jeremy. I mean, me and Rolly were kind of lost, and Jeremy pulled us through. I think we got a winner. Team Anthony. I really like the texture you got in the trees. I mean, it's a really realistic look. As far as composition goes, it's pretty plain. Just a ton of trees, equidistant almost all the way across the background. There's so many vertical lines up and down. I can't help but just read a barcode. Are they looking at the same I'm looking at? I mean, you have foreground, middle ground, background, and you can see it all, and made out of wax? I mean, come on, give us a break.